Over a series of books, Russian historian Anatoly Fomenko points out the similarities between the reign of kings in different countries, as if they were a copy-paste fabrications. Here's a comparison of the kings of Navarre in Spain and the Swedish kings, and the number of years they ruled. The number of years in brackets, indicated by the green line. Pause the video if you need to. This is a comparison of the Habsburg Empire and the Russian Empire. They might as well be the exactly same kings. Which one is the real? Which the copy? Is only one of these fabricated, or both? Were the scribes too lazy to make up a new narrative, so they copied a story, changing only a few names, places, and details? Without the Habsburg dynasty, which ruled in Central Europe, there really is no European history. And without the Russian Empire, there is no Russian history. This is a list of popes from different centuries and their reign over the Holy Roman Empire. There are only small variations, as if the histories were lazily copied, then slightly altered. Here's Fomenko's comparison of England and the Byzantine Empire. Fomenko provides many more examples, along with evidence that documents, narratives, and even statues were also forged to support fake histories. I have not yet had the time to dive into Fomenko's research, so please take this with a grain of salt. If true, there must have been a point where a group of people met to write stories that have little to do with what actually happened. But why? Maybe our entire world is one gigantic game or IQ test, a puzzle waiting to be solved. What does Wikipedia say about all this? Fomenko's historical ideas have been universally rejected by mainstream scientists, historians, and scholars, who brand them as pseudo-history, pseudo-archaeology, and pseudoscience, but were popularized by former world chess champion Garry Kasparov. Pseudo-history, pseudo-archaeology, and pseudoscience. That's quite a mouthful. I'll park this topic for now and move on to something I've noticed regarding timelines. The time between the late 1775 and 1850 is when the old world was erased and reset. One period of human history ended, a new period began. There were wars and revolutions around the world. There were floods and mud floods. In some places, this time is called interregnum, meaning the time in between rulers. Before that, the world was divided into kingdoms. We've seen this on old maps where there were no countries but regnums. Also in America, Africa, Asia, and Antarctica, not just in Europe and Russia. In some places, such as Asia, there are mysterious gaps during this time. Here's an example of the gap in the historical timeline of Kyoto, Japan. We see a great fire in 1788, then nothing until 1854. Was there no Japanese history for 66 years? This is the historical timeline of Shanghai. According to this dictionary, no notable event happened between 1789 and 1842 in Shanghai. Here's Seoul, South Korea. Mind the gap between 1796 and 1867. Here's Tokyo. Tokyo has a lot happening before 1721 and after 1853. But what happened in the 130-200 years in between? Europe and Russia didn't have this gap. They had wars and also an interregnum during this period. According to Wikipedia, French and British interregnum in the Dutch East Indies between 1806 and 1815 was a period of French and then British rule on the Dutch East Indies after the collapse of the Dutch East India Company. The First French Empire ruled between 1806 and 1811. The British Empire took over for 1811 to 1815 and transferred control back to the Dutch in 1815. The brief Russian interregnum of 1825, caused by uncertainty over who succeeded the deceased Emperor Alexander I, only lasted between December 1st and December 26th, 1825, but was used to stage the highly resonant December's revolt. It ended when Grand Duke Konstantin Pavlovich renounced his claim to throne, allowing Nicholas I to declare himself Tsar. During this time, we have a worldwide occurrence of revolutionary wars and wars for independence. The much maligned monarchies were replaced by democracies. 
The French Revolutionary War lasted from 1792 to 1802. The American Revolutionary War went from 1755 to 1783. The Irish Rebellion progressed from 1798 to 1803. The Napoleonic Wars took place between 1803 and 1805. The Haitian Revolutionary War went from 1791 to 1804. The Dominican War of Independence in 1844. Mexican War of Independence 1810 to 21. Texas Revolution 1835 to 36. The Serbian Revolution 1804 to 1835. The German War of Liberation 1813. The Greek War of Independence 1821. Swedish Norwegian War 1814. Spanish American War 1808 to 1833. Italian Wars of Independence 1848 to 1866. These wars were more than just revolutionary. They kept people fearful and preoccupied while the old world was being removed for the Great Reset. This is why alternative history researchers can show us so many completely empty cities in the 1860s. Strange things happened. The 1816 unexplained year without summer is just one of them. In 1812 and 1813, we had the Madrid earthquakes. I quote from an article titled, 1812 was a very strange year. I decided to look further into the events surrounding New Madrid, what is often not discussed, and this is what I found. Lightning and crackling sparks were reported across the ground. One witness near New Madrid reported sparks of fire spewing from the earth. In the sky, more flashing lights and fires. Metal objects clung to walls. Many reported a strange tingling all over their bodies, while others described being electrocuted. Even stranger were those who said they had no idea an earthquake were rocking the joint due to the electric shock they were receiving. Keep in mind that the earthquakes happened over several weeks. Throughout this entire ordeal, and even starting two or three years prior, mysterious booms were heard from just beyond the horizon, rumbling thunder, and what many described as large guns or artillery explosions. Others heard extremely large hissing sounds, as though the earth were seething its teeth and gas was escaping forth. Descriptions included that of metal scraping together and the sizzle of a hot iron after being dropped into a bath of water. Windows shattered. Others felt strangely disoriented. In the hours after December 16th, a dark mist haunted the hills surrounding New Madrid's epicenter. It smelled of sulfur. Many succumbed to nausea and unreasonable coughing. Not only did it eclipse the sun, but the darkness hung like a curtain. Multiple witnesses indicated the sulfurous vapor was so thick that lanterns went out and fires could not be lit. Similar reports were related by those who had been struck by the disease during the bubonic plague. The earthquake was felt as far east as South Carolina. In North Carolina, multiple witnesses reported large, extraordinary fires in the air lasting several hours. Fires as large as blazing houses suspended in place. But what really nabbed their attention was the fact that no sparks accompanied the blazes. Today, we would probably call them orbs. Following the interregnum, ancient cities such as Chicago and San Francisco were claimed to have just been built. They mysteriously sprang up in the 1850s. Cities were dug out of the mud and presented in world fairs. I've detailed these events in other videos. This video is just an introduction to something I find really fascinating. I've split this into two or three parts because it was too long and I didn't want to take up too much of your time. If you find this video interesting, I look forward to seeing you in part two.